Hello everyone, my name is Jose Segarra. I am the technical director of EGTEC. Since 2000, I have been working on several regional, national and European projects related to sustainability and mainly photovoltaic system. In fact, I have owned several companies related to the green economy and renewable energy. One of the most important is Eliotec. Eliotec is based on renewable energy project management by providing technical innovation and engineering. In the field of photovoltaic, we have been working on more than 50 projects, not only in Spain, but also in Romania and Latin America. Well, in the second module of this course, solar energy and photovoltaic technologies are in the focus point. Photovoltaic can be a major technology to get a new energy model in the future. It is a mature technology and its flexibility and modularity means small investors and companies can become new energy producers. This is the way to get a new distributed model. The course starts with three theoretical modules. The first, technical aspects, the second, economical aspects, and the third, environmental and social aspects. I hope you enjoy the classes and find them useful for your future. Now, my colleague Susanna Cry will present each chapter in detail to you. Hello everyone, my name is Susanna Cry. I collaborate with Ariotech as an environmental researcher and teacher. In the past years, I focus on European projects, mainly in the subject of environmental awareness raising and sustainability education. <coughs> As my colleague Jose Sagara mentioned in the introduction, the module 2 is about photovoltaic systems. Let me introduce you to these five chapters and highlight the most important questions of this module. The chapter 2 is about the economical background of photovoltaic technology. We will estimate the costs of different um, solar panels and solar systems and also we will understand the evolution of the prices on the market. The most important questions are whether the whole system is profitable and uh, how much does it cost the maintenance of the whole system. In chapter 3 we will talk about the same question but from environmental and social point of view. First of all we need to understand the sources of greenhouse gas and other emissions. Uh, during the production, the transportation, and the maintenance of solar panels. Secondly, we will learn about life cycle assessment. This mindset requires an ecological, holistic approach, so we will analyze the Earth as a global system. Thirdly, in this chapter we will talk about the photovoltaic system's impact on rural development. What are the opportunities of uh, individual energy producing. Why does education play a key role in the future scenarios? To summarize all the above mentioned aspects, we elaborated a case study. Through the project called Mar de Funes, we introduce you an eco-ethical hotel which is isolated from the electrical grid and located in a natural park in uh, Castellón, Spain. Chapter 4 gives you an elaborated example for the case study in order to give you a hand uh, for the case study that you will work out at the end of the Interrural Renewable Energy course. Finally, the mentioned list of case studies appears in Chapter 5. Note that the examples are also from Spain as from Hungary and you are free to choose any of them. I would like to wish you a successful work in photovoltaic module as well as in the whole interrural course. Good luck and hopefully see you in person one day. Goodbye!